Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds And try to tear you down Why they want to tell Pisces, my Pisces Hello my dear Pisces, my Pisces Pisces, hello my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> Cause I miss y'all asses. Hey boo, hey, this is first time on my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time on my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell the card say. Oh, but I'm cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, feel free to get the hell up out of here right now. Because this is how we do it. Sha -da 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 -da. This is my shit, alright, Pisces? Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the, uh, the comments, the subscribes, the love, you guys, the donations, the reading requests, the support, you guys, the loyalty. Thank you so much, gang gang, from the, most, from the bottom of my heart. Okay, I pray that you guys had an amazing holiday season. Happy 2021, beautiful. Happy 2021, handsome. <laughs> Are we focused on the motherfucking mission at hand? And the mission at hand is the focus. <laughs> to the new subscribers, you guys, welcome to the family. <clears throat> We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel, all right? Here we cuss, we grow, we share, we evolve. Positive vibes only, positive type thing. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I bet you know now, baby. Okay, so listen, Pisces, you guys, if you need a personal reading, then uh, that information can be found within the description box below. Okay, this will be your personal reading for the month of January 2021. This ain't finna resonate with every motherfucking Pisces, honey. Take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, your ass gonna fall. Period. Okay? So without further ado, let's jump into it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, as well as the North Node. Alright? Um... We're going to go ahead and jump into your intuitive messages first. Pisces, 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 for the month of January. I felt the energy of a failure to communicate, okay? So this could have to do with your feelings, okay? Or someone just choosing, because I am hearing choosing not to understand you because it would only mean that they would have to take accountability for their bullshit. And this person is not willing to do the shadow work or do the work that you've put into uh, when it comes to the elevation of self, okay? The ascension of your own, the, the, the ascension within... Um, your soul's growth okay um i also picked up on the energy as well as movement okay some of you guys could be waiting to hear back from some type of uh, decision or some type of contract regarding movement okay so this could actually be some type of business location for some of you all because i am hearing location 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 for some of you all this is literally a physical move okay some of you guys feel restricted when it comes to being able to um fully express yourself or truly move in your authenticity also something around magic okay so some of you guys could be in the house with somebody who's extremely fucking religious and these this, this could even be the, as simple as lighting fucking candles somebody has an issue when it comes to your spiritual beliefs okay for some of you all i'm also picking up on the energy of you guys wavering back and forth when it comes to again walking in your true divinity walking in your true north as it pertains to your authenticity or your authentic beliefs okay uh what's true to you all right i also picked up on the energy pisces um some of you all are in a situation and I feel like there's this element of comfortability. I don't even know if that's a fucking word. It's going to be a word today, okay? But comfortability, all right? Um, I'm picking up the energy of someone just really stuck in their ways or just stuck when it comes to the same or feeling as if you're trapped or, trapped doing the same thing, okay? I'm also hearing trapped in a cycle. For some of you all, I'm literally hearing trapped in a closet, okay? So this could also be someone not knowing how to express to you that they like or they're interested into the in the thing, in the in the same sex okay and i feel like for some of you all i'm hearing sex addiction and for some of you all i'm also literally hearing addictions okay so addictions could actually be an influencing a relationship especially if there's um some type of like tied to narcissistic abuse domestic abuse i'm also hearing psychosomatic okay so somebody's driving you fucking crazy pisces and i feel like for some of you all you know what to do but i feel like for some of you all you're choosing not to see 
what it is the choice choosing not to see the fact that you have to make a decision are you going to stay where you are or do you want to grow okay are you going to accept that you and another person or you and another relationship or partnership is no longer flowing okay or this is something that is actually like um causing a sense of delay to your flow but i feel like for some of you all you're inheriting issues from another person you're carrying burdens that are not your own. And I feel like for some of you all, you're getting real you, you you're taking a realistic approach and you're getting real with your damn self in the month of January when it comes to making a decision for you and not really focused or worried about the consequences as it pertains to another person. Pisces wants to be happy. Okay? So the intuitive messages that I wrote down for you guys, um, the two songs that I channeled for you all for the month of January 2021 was um damaged uh damaged by her. Um, if I let you, would you take me for granted? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, you could do damage. You, you, you could do damage. Okay. So for some of you all, you're questioning. I'm also hearing broken people. Like some of you all are actually noticing that you, you attract a lot of broken people or people with addiction issues. I'm also hearing trauma bonding. So this could also have to do with abandonment or the need to feel as if, um, the, the need to feel validated by another person. Okay. Even though you know you don't, you, some of y'all dealing with a very unappreciative, selfish, egotistical motherfucker. The only thing that this person cares about is money. And for some of you all, this is not aligned with your soul's truth. And I feel like some of you guys are making a major decision. Some of you guys are going to have some very uncomfortable conversations in the month of January as it pertains to your boundaries as well as your happiness, okay? And your truth, all right? The next song that I got um, for you guys was Fire and Desire by Rick James and Tina Marie. Um, when she, when, more so Rick James part when he says, Remember when I used to love? them and leave them that's what I used to do use and abuse them then I laid eyes on you it was pain before pleasure okay so some of y'all I'm hearing mirroring okay so someone wasn't some y'all didn't bag the player the player wasn't expecting a motherfucking fall in love but some y'all use the motherfucking player is what I'm hearing all right so let's get into it you guys uh intuitive messages you got gratitude for some you got plan b investments ancient magic ancestral stalking broken trust karmic reset burned bridges restoration higher knowledge family interference multi-dimensional symbolism soul ties agriculture holistic divination sex magic emphysema scrying mirror magic portal portals i'm sorry creativity psychosomatic shadow work DNA activations, hidden money, subconscious ancestral revelations, hidden intentions, branding, cord cutting, fallen angel, trauma bonds, Akashic access, prophecy, astrology, inherited gifts, business influx, business influx, I'm sorry, forgery, unexpected money okay i am picking up on a lot of um a lot of uh, a lot of well there's a lot of emphasis around hidden family secrets okay i'm also hearing hidden family knowledge for some of you all you're actually learning some type of truths around your family this could also have to do with divination within your lineage okay also the fear around religious beliefs or the tie between divination and like divination or um your beliefs, I feel like there's some, some type of comparison when it comes to religion, okay? Some of you guys could be studying this. There's also a big emphasis on science, okay? Conspiracy science. And that could actually be tied in because I'm hearing Palladian. So this could also have to do with like the galactic races, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of something about the swallowing up, the swallowing up. So some of you guys could feel this within your own environment or within yourself. Because I feel like this has to do with the projection of another person's energy, okay? So being swallowed swallowed up. I'm also hearing swallowed up by the abyss. For some of you all, you're dealing with an individual um, 
whose karma has to do with being swallowed up by the abyss or this is some type of subconscious fear okay i'm also hearing persecution as well as soul retrieval as it pertains to the akashic so this could also have to do with a lot of inherited gifts are you guys being centered within your gifts okay um big focus as well as travel okay some of you guys could be receiving some type of unexpected message also this could be a message of reconciliation as it pertains to travel be very careful if you're reconciling with someone to quickly jump in the bed with their ass because somebody is having somebody's on the fence they haven't somebody i'm picking up on the energy of someone scared to find out something detrimental to their health but they're not sharing this with you they're just coming back and reconciling because i am hearing that you are this person's safe place okay even though they can't fucking do right you this person's safe place if their ass can't get right they gotta get left in january 2021 pisces period okay um i'm also picking up on the energy as well as Envious friendships, okay? I feel like there's, there's like competition when it comes to friendships, partnerships. Some of y'all are literally sleeping with the motherfucking enemy. And there's going to be some type of confirmation or synchronicity around this for you all. Someone's literally coming back to slow you down, slow your progression, or someone's intentionally trying to do this, okay? I am picking up on the energy of someone giving you some type of ultimatum or someone like really shitting on you via their actions as it pertains to your desires okay the things that make you feel fulfilled for some of you all this is around the time that or the time or someone's presence when it comes to some type of co-parenting or some type of partnership with someone who you have children with i am hearing earth signs so this has to do with the capricorn towards virgo or an aries leo sagittarius okay i'm hearing breaking cycles okay so let's jump into it let's get a whoa shit Let's get a crystal oracle message for the month of January for my Pisces. All right. Let me put these crystals over here on this side. Puppy ass. Be smooth, okay? Y'all know puppy be in the motherfucking building. He loves you Jupiter baby, Sunny. <laughs> crystal oracle message for my Pisces. Summon rising Venus and the North Node. Pisces. Pisces. Crystal oracle message for my Pisces. What crystal would be helpful for my Pisces for the month of January? Okay, you guys got Golden Healer. I'm literally hearing multi-dimensional soul retriever and base. I'm sorry. Stellar Gateway. Okay. 27. Number 9. Some of you guys are ending something, okay? Ultimate healing. Y'all know we don't chop and screw these motherfucking oracle messages. We give them as is, honey, because we want to get the message. Golden healer. Ultimate healing. Golden healers are imbued with powerful transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses expanded by six metaphysics. But this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local, everywhere and nowhere at once, where there is no time. You create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. Recognize your potential to be an amazing healer. Your abilities needed honing. Your, I'm sorry. Your abilities needed honing, and those who heal are soul, score, soul scored to develop empathy. Much in your life needs transforming. Surrender willingly to the process. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. You may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging, a challenging task. Do so with grace and ease. Healing flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. The frequency of this stone is exceptionally high. It's good for the soul star and stellar gateway. Aligns and cleanses all chakras. Great for every, the timing is every moment and those with the soul path of a channel for Christ consciousness, okay? So I am here again, cosmic awareness, okay? Cosmic consciousness, the expansion of cosmic awareness or cosmic consciousness. Also, this has to do with your purpose in the world, your place in the world, how you actually radiate, how you transcend this in your own life so that you may actually transmute that or assist others as, 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 uh, as it pertains to the transmutation Um of those energies within their own path okay so some of you all are readers okay some of you all are um i am hearing some of you guys maybe you're seeking some type of help from either a dream interpreter or there's a need to or some type of like voodoo priestess or some type of sacred healer i'm also hearing shaman okay some of you guys are shamans all right 
So let's jump into the tarot, oh, honey. Get this motherfucking tea. Let's see what's going on with my Pisces. Who's this person? Who's this thing? Who's this situation? What is this event? What is this mindset that is holding you guys back? All right. They saying two more. All right. Two more. All right. Some of you guys could be hearing from someone who could be a uh, cardinal sign. Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, okay? I'm picking up on the energy of some of you guys needing to move forward, needing to focus on um, your purpose as it pertains to going forward, as it pertains to some type of expansion or becoming aware of something, okay? But I feel like for some of you all, again, there's some type of intentional interference, all right? Let's get into it. For some of y'all, you got a fire sign that's holding your ass the fuck up. All right? This person there. I feel like there could be growth with this person later on. Right now is not the time to reconcile with this person. This person is not emotionally, spiritually, mentally, or um, physically ready for you. Okay? Someone's stuck in their way. Someone's stuck in the world is what I'm hearing. All right? Spirit. Let's just see you have my Pisces. Someone rising Venus. Cross Watchers as well as the North Node. Pisces, 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 all right? Yeah. Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius, all right? I definitely feel like some of you guys have a Sagittarius watching you or you this person. I feel like some of you all, there's there's this element of one foot in, one foot out, all right? Half-ass offer, half-ass in there. I'm also picking up on the energy of losing patience with someone who you have some type of sexual connection with, all right? Some of you guys could also feel neglected or this person could feel neglected by you i am hearing safe place for some of you all you're setting healthy boundaries with this individual okay if you're dealing with the water sign cancer pisces scorpio someone someone wants to get you pisces and when i say get you i'm not talking about love on you someone's trying to cause you some type of intentional heartbreak someone wants you to feel how you made them feel i feel like for some of you all you could have triggered someone's abandonment issues by taking your power back or actually restricting this individual's access all right for some of you all you could be dealing with the sign of scorpio i feel like there could be some type of re uh, some type of revelation regarding the third party situation for some of you all this could also be someone giving an ultimatum around um someone feeling as if they're not present uh, uh, or the re their partner is not present in the relationship with them okay i'm also picking up one of um an air sign gemini libra aquarius for some of you all this could even be a new relationship that you are in or some type of new partnership and i feel like it could have started off sexual okay or it could have started off very passionate this could even be a passionate connection that you have with someone but there's an air sign that's trying to run interference not because they even love this person because this person that has actually moved on okay and started something new. Somebody's trying to keep someone stuck in a motherfucking cycle here. Or someone uh, restricted around. Um, someone's, trying, some, someone's trying to cause some type of limitation here. Okay. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio. But there could have been a third third party situation in the past. Alright. For some of you all this could also you be you dealing with the Leo. Who could be dealing with the Scorpio. I feel like someone's holding on to some type of truth. But I feel like someone's revealing this truth. Not to actually like give someone clarity, but to be petty as fuck, okay? Somebody wants you to dance at the motherfucking petty party. And tell them motherfuckers if misery invited me, I ain't motherfucking going. Because listen, they will not have my company, darling. Okay? Alright. Yeah. So yeah, some of y'all, yeah, some of you guys are completely closing the door as it pertains to your past, okay? Some of y'all, I'm also picking up the energy of some of y'all could actually be going through a situation or discovering that there's some type of financial issue or some type of like behind the scenes issues going around, going on with paperwork. I'm also hearing bankruptcy as it pertains to your employment, all right? Some of you guys I'm also seeing are choosing to work for yourselves, are choosing to actually start that business. I'm literally hearing public eye, okay? Some of you guys are destined to be in the public eye. For some of you all also, I'm also picking up on the energy of something being revealed to you. Some of you all are getting some type of closure regarding someone ghosting you. For some of you all, someone went back to somebody who they had a child with, okay? Or someone's thinking about doing this, alright? I'm also hearing, yeah... For some of you all, if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Spirit is really wanting you to use your intuition in this situation because I feel like someone's around you for comfort. I'm also picking up on this aspect of someone, again, 
looking at you as their safe space. But whoever this person is, they also looking at you as the motherfucking space where they eating up all your motherfucking kids' fruit snacks and they real motherfucking comfortable, okay? I'm picking up the energy of you guys needing to put your foot down as it pertains to your peace and your home, your space. I feel like some of you all have someone coming in trying to invade your space, okay? A lot of energy around being outside, like connecting to the earth element, all right? Some of you all, I'm also hearing the manipulation of elements, the manipulation, um, I'm hearing alchemy, okay? But the manipulation of elements, for some of you all, the manipulation of weather, all right? Some of you guys could be very heavily into metaphysics or very heavily into the occult. I feel like there's a fear around judgment, being judged or some type of like person. Some of y'all were persecuted for your gifts in a past life. And I feel like because your gifts are coming online, there's this element of feeling as if you're disconnected, disconnected with the people around you, okay? Or disconnected from the world. Mm-hmm. Some of you all also are practitioners. I feel like for some of you all, someone could actually be seeking your help. Some of you all also have a mother figure who you could have cut off. This could be a mother-in-law. This could even be a sister. It's a female. It's a feminine energy, okay? Strong emphasis around the mother. Some of you all are needing to check on your mother. Someone's mother's health is declining. Something around dementia, the mind, okay? I'm also picking up or... or yeah, I'm hearing dementia, okay? For some of you all, I'm also picking up the energy of the lungs. Some of my mother could be going through issues with lungs. I'm hearing COPD, okay? I'm also hearing, again, emphysema. Some of y'all smoke too much Pisces. Or this could be someone who's smoking too much. There's a, something's going on with the lungs, okay? I'm also picking up with the energy of the divine, continuously confirming for you that you're actually supposed to be starting or like starting or learning or researching some type of herbal divination, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of you guys really heavily connecting with nature as well as the inhabitants in it, all right? Something around the birds, all right? The birds could be significant for you all. I'm also picking up on the element of fire, okay? This could also be candle magic, candle work. I'm also hearing harvest and I'm seeing the moon. So I'm seeing the moon, okay? I'm hearing moon magic. So whatever it is that you manifested upon the last new moon, I am seeing the element of a, of, of a harvest, okay? Some of you all, you could have a child by Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius. I feel like there are some type of secrets coming out regarding a child, okay? And this could actually be occurring to free someone from a situation so that, the, so that they can move towards you. I'm also picking up on the energy. If you have children with a cancer, I feel like someone wants you to help more. Or someone wants you to be more present or this is how you're feeling, all right? Yeah. Some of you guys are freeing yourself from a situation that you feel like somebody can't help. Somebody really can't offer you anything. No type of help. No type of fucking advice. I feel like you give more to this situation than you're receiving. Some of you all are actually raying up the motherfucking pros and cons as it pertains to people within your energy. Are you giving me, am I giving more than what it is that I'm receiving? How can I build from this? How can I grow? Is it going to affect my motherfucking finances, my faith, my practice? You know what I'm saying? My beliefs. If I cut your motherfucking ass off. For some of you all, again, you're making a decision for you. And it's it's, it's, it's leaving a lot of people fucking bothered, Pisces. All right? I'm also picking up on the energy of, yeah, some of y'all got a fire sign, Aries, Dill, Sagittarius. I am hearing clarity, and I'm also hearing closure for some. And I'm also seeing a reconciliation, okay? Someone's being enlightened. Someone be, someone's being enlightened of who, uh, on who you are to them. The significance to a connection. For some of you all, you have some residual energy and there's a need to do some type of cord cutting as it pertains to a fire sign or a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy. I'm hearing, um, ain't none of your friends business. Ain't none of your friends business, brother we. Okay, so some of you all, you have a friend. I feel like... <clears throat> Some of y'all are going to find out that you have somebody very close to you that attempted to do black magic on you. I feel like this is someone who you talk to all the motherfucking time. Someone's continuously calling in, checking in. What you doing? What you got going on? What are you building? Be very careful with who you telling your motherfucking business to. Spirit is saying work in silence, okay? Because you're the motherfucking empress. For some of you all, this has to do with your divine masculine, your divine feminine. Some of y'all literally have a mother that is a karmic that is trying, that has been trying to block the flow of some type of divine partnership for you all. You could live with this person. I'm also hearing hiding male, okay? So someone could have been hiding male from you 
I feel like someone has been trying to reconcile with you and fix something and make a situation right, especially if you have children with this individual. But there is a mother figure here that has been trying to sabotage your connection. This could be their mother, okay? Some of you all have a new connection that is blooming, possibly with a Libra, an Aries, a Taurus, a Pisces like yourself, or a Virgo. I feel like if you are waiting to hear from someone, that communication is definitely coming in. Especially if there's been no contact. I feel like someone's someone now knows that they owe you an apology. Yeah, some of you all also are realizing that you are the tower in a situation. That you that you removing yourself from a situation is the catalyst to someone else's awakening. This could be a Libra. Some of you all are also internally conflicted as to how to work on a situation possibly with an Aries individual. This could also be the need to forgive your father as well. That's what I'm hearing. All right. There's a lot, there's an opportunity here to forgive. There's also an opportunity here to expand your awareness and expand your consciousness. But something here has to go, Pisces. And I feel like for some of you all, you're choosing to see exact see things. From a, from, from a more realistic approach. You're choosing to do things from a more realistic approach. I'm also hearing your plans need your plans need some type of like strategic. Okay. Your ideas are divinely guided. They need some type of strategic plan to back them. So for some of you all, this is literally like you, you setting boundaries within your energy and actually focusing on what it is that you're trying to build. Strong energy around agriculture, okay? Herbal divination. This could be you guys teaching this to another person. This could even be you guys actually like getting back to living off the land, all right? Some of you all, I'm, in, I'm also hearing detox and fasting. So some of you guys could be completely cutting meat out of your diet during this time. I'm also picking up on the energy again of spiritual teacher, spiritual awareness. You guys are going through these things, going through these woes to teach other people, okay? To be able to, to have that sense of connectivity to others. So let me pull up soul lessons journey for you all. Yeah, some of y'all need to set y'all damn boundaries with the damn earth sign. If you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this motherfucker may be talking about the side of their neck this month. I feel like someone's going through a very massive awakening. And I feel like for some of you all, you're so busy focusing on your craft, focusing on the things, focusing on your goals and the things that, that in which you're ambitious about. And someone feels as if there's a disconnection or they feel disconnected from your energy because this person is used to you giving, giving, giving to them. I feel like someone's being forced to see their see their own fucking selfishness through your motherfucking lack thereof because you ain't got time for that. Alright? And there's nothing wrong with that Pisces. Choose you. Alright, you guys got freak the fuck freedom. I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. You don't need a damn you don't need not now motherfucker Pisces. You never did, never have, never will. You that bitch. You that guy. You understand me? You make it at the bottom of the deck, you guys got judgment. You make an A. You you trust in your intuition. You're making a decision that is fair to you. And I feel like it's going to assist you in aligning again with your soul's purpose. This is happening so that you may ascend to higher heights. Spirit is really ascending your consciousness, ascending your awareness, okay? Expect and I am picking up the energy is again. The reason why some of you all are being held back when it comes to finances is because someone is very karmic as it pertains to your fight, like as it pertains to your financial flow, your abundance, and it's because spirit is protecting you. This person is a taker, is what I'm hearing, Pisces. All right, pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Leo. Okay. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Again, you are the tower. Some of you all are discovering and you just be, again, taking a realistic approach. What fit? What does not fit? Do I see myself abundant with this person? Do I see myself fulfilled at this job? Do I see myself happy working for another person? Do I see myself truly truly being able to grow with this motherfucker who we really can't have a meeting of the minds because again this person is stuck in this world they don't want to see anything expand they don't want to have an expansion uh, expansion in consciousness you have a major decision to make in the month of january okay so you guys i pray that this message finds you with love i love you long time i'm sending you all peace love and many blessings you guys and i will see you back here again for next month's generals love y'all